Love, Lord, greetings, gratitude, blessings and blessings, beautiful Ascension Star family. My divinity to yours. Welcome if you're new. Welcome back if you're returning. Thank you for all your love, large support, your appreciation, participation. Thank you for your hearted comments, likes and shares. Importantly, is our collective collaboration. Our unite in light to shift and uplift our beautiful planet and all its inhabitants into multi-dimension, divine ascension. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Collective Pisces, welcome. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus or multiple placements in your natal chart. I am reading with Divine Spirit's guidance to bring you wisdom, information, assistance through the month of August and how best you are able to work through challenges or prepare yourself for beautiful abundances. Spirit, bless our Pisces with the wisdom and guidance and what needs to be heard known at this time. Four from Tarot, please, to work through the four weeks throughout August. The deep blue sea, the depth of calm waters, the energy of so much color, vibration, yet there is serenity. When you bring yourself to the surface, then you hear the birds, nature. You get to see the rays of sun, the shifting clouds, the gulls, and other sea life. All right. Knight of Swords and Princess of Pentacles. Whatever is happening in your life is happening at a very quick speed. Prepare yourself, Spirit says, to cut out, to cut away, to slash away, to clear your path of all obstacles. Anything, everything that does not serve your growth, this is the month for clearing. The month to get rid of it. The month to let it go. For some of you, it will be ending relationships that do not serve your growth. Ending jobs that are not um, appreciating your service. For others, it will be a very abrupt release of habits, letting go of things that do not grow you, serve you, heighten, lighten, brighten or enlighten you. There will be a rude awakening where there is resistance for others that are slashing and clearing their path, it will be harmony. It will be polite, princess of pentacles. We're talking about a beautiful, welcoming energy of an offer, an agreement, a proposal, a beautiful, um, positive, rewarding energy. So prepare yourselves to meet someone, to greet, to be seated, in a place that will uplift you and bring about some positive interaction, agreement or possibility to generate your income, supplement your income, complement your income. Perhaps someone in your household will be raised higher if not you and by them raising higher, they will raise you higher. But the clearing's got to be done. You've got to empty in which to receive. That is what 
spirit is saying, we cannot have a glass half empty or half full. Empty out completely by clearing so that what's filling will be fulfilling. All right. These are not major changes, but they will have a, a, a big impact, a large impact, a profound impact. Spirit says you can cope with it. It is not difficult. Do not feel like it's a tragedy. You have the temperance. We're taking only the temperance, balance, healing. Right, so you are in for a beautiful, energetic difference in vibration, healing, an upgrade, um, a leveling up, they speak of. But it is about you helping you. You've got to put the work in and meet spirit half the way with the temperance. To bring about your balance, to allow your head to be above the water. To allow yourself to mount the horse, to ride the horse, to know when to get off the horse and allow the horse to have its rest as well. So it's about balancing the different areas and aspects of your life. And that is a major lesson for the month is temperance. When to temper, how to temper. Also, ask for divine help. Why not? Use holistic remedies, natural modalities as part of your healing. Everything does not have to be medicated and um, induced by um, some kind of strong drug or every cough or every sniff does not have to run you to the doctor. Mix your potions, mix your leaves, have your foot soaking, your feet soaking. Um, I meant to say foot soak, salts, um, to soak your feet, right? Have your naps in between if you need to, strength. Very much the Leo energy in August is your strength. You will be strong, incredibly strong, once you allow temperance to do its work. You've got two minor things to deal with, right? In a very realistic, um, earthly material plane level of consciousness, being the human, being the individual, being part of the family, a colleague to your work, um, a friend to your circle, and then we have two majors, which is your temperance and strength. The balancing is incredibly important because it will make you stronger, braver, courageous, powerful, empowered for you to take on what that princess of pentacles is bringing. Whatever your um, transformation or transition will be into that abundance may need you to be a little bit more active or um, to be... A, a, a key player have a role take a position and that is why we're talking about balancing realigning and ensuring that you are nourished and strong to be able to go forward and do what you need to a soul action please spirit for our pisces the beautiful emotional watery energy of Pisces no more waiting there will never be a good time the time is now there will never be enough time apologies but it is also good time good enough time your action is if it's important enough to you you will find a way today make a decision and do it even if you don't feel ready listen to your heart you will be led well, of course, any energy, any activity with the Knight of Swords is very quick, sudden, effective, efficient, um, 
this uh, precision there is um, dissecting doing a little bit of forensics there's a lot of a rush and a speed to it it's like we don't have enough time right the knight of swords is a very hurried energy and therefore right next to that you have no more waiting there will never be good enough time the time is now so pick up your sword and take action set the intention and allow yourself To clear, to cleanse, to detoxify, to unclutter, to remove, to detach, to cut away. It's all about ending something, right? If you've been procrastinating, you don't have time to do that anymore. The time is now, it's come. And how can our beautiful Pisces... that are in service to humanity, um, also very self-sacrificial, be able to retreat and recharge to renew in a power earth place, a power place of the earth, from the earth, within the earth, is Lake Baikal. I can be independent and successful. I can be alone and not lonely. Being different can be a source of power. There is magic in the world and I can perceive it. So you might want to, if you live near this lake, it is indeed a blessing for you. If not, research, hold the vision and set your intention to connect with this beautiful piece of paradise from other earth so that you can introspect discern and of course allow yourself this powerful time of renewal and healing so when you get to the temperance you will be rejuvenated you will be stronger and braver you will see things differently and be able to share your magic because of your strength because your perception has changed because you have seen things wholly fully completely right holy as in h-o-l-y and holy as in w-h-o-l-l-y because that's where your temperance comes in your balancing your healing your re-energizing your recalibration of your energetic fields to make you this power strong lion or lioness as a pisces right the dreamers The ones that like to retreat from the world um, and go quiet and solo. The crystal message spirit, please, thank you. Appetite. Progress, not perfection. Do not strive to do difficult tasks to be perfect be who you are it's not about the perfection it's about progression don't compare yourself to others or judge yourself instead focus upon how far you've come and all that you've learned you see that's progress it's about being the student at the same time teaching your study helping others right there is no perfection, yet everything is imperfectly perfect. Right? Allow what needs to unfold in its accordance of energy, in its channel of energy, naturally, without having to compare it, 
without having to judge it, feel sarcastic, without having to feel any differences, because no two energies can ever be alike. So let what goes flow and trust that you are at the right place and at the right time as and when it's needed. If you have an appetite, well done. If not, then connect with the vibration of the crystal and allow it to help you progress. You will need the strength, the balance in which to allow this progression to take place. An animal spirit, message spirit. We have the snake. This is about Kundalini energy. Kundalini is your feminine divine energy. Kundalini is the serpent like energy that sits at the tailbone, the coccyx area in your base or root chakra, very grounded and coiled. As you spiritually awaken, your vibration increases gently. This energy uncoils itself and begins to contour up the spinal column in stages until it reaches the third eye, which is the Shiv energy. So your masculine divine, it's the Shakti, which is the feminine power, rising up to the Shiv energy, which is your masculine power as a Shiv Shakti energy, your masculine feminine divine polarity. This is when you reach such a great height from being beautifully, creatively sensual and feminine passionate, nurturing and loving right up into the vibration of divine consciousness, the cosmic orgasm. So prepare yourselves if you are doing, for those that are doing conscious healing, conscious upliftment, conscious awakening, that you are now beginning to rise your kundalini, to shift your kundalini vibration um, into a higher energetic frequency. Right, we're taking one, the flame of courage. Ignite the flame of courage Lighting the path of bravery amidst shadows of fear. Now the strength card is about courage. Bravery, strength, power, empowerment, fire, passion. It is a Leo energy sign. It is the fire sign. And here's your confirmation that this will be your final achievement in this month if you complete the sequence of guidance given. And do not be afraid of the changes that you will be making. Right? Change is never comfortable. Change is always unpleasant. Right? The a pain and suffering that the um, caterpillar goes through in the chrysalis is all worth it in the end for when the butterfly emerges. We have a triple A to energy karma balance now look at that we spoke about balance finances which is a beautiful offer that could come and propel you into a better living space a living um a, a comfort zone um success and wealth all goes with that cycles we're talking about clearing ending letting go what goes around comes around Right, it is the figure eight. It is a triple infinity energy. A lot of money is coming your way. Fortune refers to more than just monetary and material success. If you don't appreciate the people in your life now, you won't have them tomorrow. The message encourages you to take personal responsibility and use it to realize your greatest potential. 
interesting because with the energy of the snake, very much like the eight moving in contour, in very curvaceous, meandering, positioning, shape and direction. Also beautiful about this triple eight is we are in the eighth month and we are very quickly approaching the eight eight gateway. So now if you find this message or it finds you and you know other Pisces and Leos, then I urge you to share this message with them. And I will talk about the 88 energy in another video. All right, give us another message, please, spare of time that our beautiful Pisces can work with. a lot we have two cards a six and a seven Virgo harvest the crop something in six weeks or six months whatever you've been seeds you've been planting in which to cultivate and reap a beautiful harvest perhaps will come into manifestation six weeks or six months. So you're being asked to continue working with that energy. Perhaps you are um, placed in, in one of your other two majors or three majors in Virgo. You probably have Virgo um, present in your chart in multiple placements. This definitely affects you or will contribute to you by helping you in some particular way. And then we got the Saturday, the Saturn energy, a number seven vibration, search for the joy and stay agile. This is just sort of um, like a guardian an um, angel coming in to give you that boost of happiness and joy and reminding you to be um, flexible and kind and softer to yourself especially when you're dealing with the knight of swords in your month and having to go through all of that uncluttering and removal and ending and detaching and cutting off etc um, you need not to be so hard or rigid know that whatever you are doing is planting the seeds for the beautiful garden of your growth your light your blessings, the diamond that you are. All right, beautiful Pisces. I wish you everything wonderful this month and always. Be sure to listen out for the other signs that you perhaps have placements in. And with that, I love you. I bless you. I thank you. Till next.